All right, so today is uh, July the 2nd, 2024. And it's the day that Neptune goes retrograde, which is the main thing I want to talk about. But interestingly, at this time, we also have um, Waldemuth in zero of Gemini, the moon in zero of Gemini, Lilith, depending on whether you use the mean node or the true node. I mean, there's so many, but there's there's one setting. I think it's the mean node, but it it it's at zero Libra right now. And in my particular location, Lilith was on the ascendant, so the ascendant was zero Libra. But that. That varies, you know, that will vary. But uh, so I thought, well, you know, something. But uh, the pennant, uh, the, the fact that Lilith, uh, the mean Lilith, the real Lilith, not Waldemuth, which is the dark moon Lilith, but was on the ascendant and right opposite, uh, in opposition to Neptune, uh, is significant somehow, you know. I'm not sure what it means, actually, <laughs> but I'm going to try. Uh, Neptune is in 24, 29 degrees Pisces, 56, and it just turned retrograde today. In other words, the last chart I made, uh, oh, I don't know, yesterday, was Neptune was still direct. 29.54. We're trying to reach zero of Aries, which should be the start of a whole new world, see? And that's the start of the whole, and that's what I'm talking about today. That's the start of the whole new world we're all hoping for. And um, now I I, partic I follow politics, and I can't, not sure what would say what I personally am hoping for, but but uh, Emmanuel Macron was um, defeated, well, well, handed a significant blow, and it looks like Marine Le Pen is going to take over. So that was the, the, the outcome some people are hoping for, the conservatives. Uh, and, uh, you know, I would say that whatever you think is going to be ch in a... Ch change is not yet ready to change because not only is Neptune well Neptune is the fantasy but it's it's also the like the Weltanschauung or the Zeitgeist or something like that meaning the spirit of the times the imagination of, of the uh, of the world and when the imagination of the world goes from uh, Neptune and Pisces by the way, that's the the ruler of Pisces is Neptune, so Neptune and Pisces would be like a double shot or a times ten shot of unreality of uh, well, uh, wishful aspirations, perhaps of an idealistic sort, but lacking something in reality. That's the definition of Neptune. And so you shouldn't get sore about that. I mean, you know, you know, but that's the definition of Neptune. It's a uh, imaginative. You know, that's responsible for music and, and so on and so forth. But it doesn't always condense down into hardcore reality. Uh, so don't get mad about that. I mean, but what you can get mad about is the fact that, gee, uh, you got caught into it. See, well, I. I personally have a strong Neptune and Moon and Pisces, so I'm I'm a dreamer, you know. And uh, but it's time for dreamers. The dreamers are going to come to a crashing halt. Well, first of all, the dreams will change once Neptune does enter uh, Aries. The dreams will change. The dreams will change from a very spiritual, idealistic type to a more like, let's go for it.
neither is good nor bad, but I think probably the philosophers will say, well, change is necessary. You know, we've had 14 years of Neptune. Now it's time to move on to the next, uh, the next thing, the, or the, the next scam. In other words, it's, it's, it's time for us to get scammed by a, a different sort of person, see? So, uh, you, you know, those of you who think you're being scammed by uh, Joseph Biden, for example, will say, well, it looks like as we're right on the cusp of, you know, uh, Biden quitting and we'll have a new operator, you know, uh, fooling us, you know. But he says, no, 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 you're not so fast. Neptune just went retrograde. Almost, you're almost there. But, um, and even if Biden quits, I think, so this is the first uh, thing of any importance that I'm saying in, in the way of Bill Kennick's predictions. Even if Biden quits, the same um, dark state, the same machinate, uh, the same boss man that Biden is listening to is still there, see. And, uh, um, that's not changing. See. Although going retrograde, it would seem like, you know, they're going to take a setback. But the fact that, um, well, there's two things. One is it's in 2954. In other words, that's about as close as you can get to changing into Aries. Uh, let's not forget, however, one, uh, one actor in the uh, comedy of the present time is uh, Donald Trump. And he has, uh, I think, the ascendant in 2950 of uh, Leo. But he's not quite a Virgo, you know. And, and uh, by the way, 28 of Leo uh, is the star of Regulus. Uh, you know, so that's, that's always been, uh, anybody that has 28 of Leo, uh, as a rule, thinks very well of himself. And uh, other people do think well of them too, because uh, they're in terms of governance, uh, govern governance, or government. Uh, because regula, uh, the regulus, the planet that means the king. You know, regula is the ruler. So those rulers um, uh, probably does them some good to think very well of themselves, because they have the confidence to. Uh, um, go against the crowd and because they know they're right see in their heart they know they're right uh, but uh, so uh, Trump being an extreme example I suppose now that doesn't mean they are right but uh, they they act like they think they're right and and that usually uh, propels people a long way you know, in other words you go to a, a doctor you want the doctor to have some confidence when he tells you, um, take this pill and you will be better. Really, doc? You think it'll work? And, and the doctor says, yes, son, that is true. You know, it says, so we tend to believe people who believe in themselves. And that's, you know, that's, I think they tell, they, they teach you. Uh, some places they, they have doctors go to uh, take up acting, you know, so they can act like uh, they're authoritative, uh, and and so on. Uh, okay, so for Neptune twenty nine, but uh, not yet, not quite yet. Uh, right now, appearances can be deceptive, and um, I'm looking at some of the other websites on, you know, on uh, talking about Neptune retrograde, and and uh, they say, oh. Oops, reality check time, one guy says on, on the internet. Reality check uh, until, you know, for uh, one until December or January when Neptune goes straight again. And then some will have some real change. Um, but in the meantime, oh, you know, uh, don't, don't quit your day job yet. Okay? To those, to those artists and so on. Don't quit your day job yet. All right, Bill Kennick here. Um, thank you.